Alright, I had one of my viewers ask me, how do I find a Linux distribution that is right for me? And I was thinking to myself, geez, I've never done a show on this topic. So I thought this would be a good time to do that, and we're going to do that right now on Spadry's Cup of Linux. Okay, before I begin, I just want to point out to you guys that we're also going to have a discussion on this on the Zoo Crew tomorrow night, June 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will be July 1st for those of you in England and other European countries all the way out to Australia. So definitely want to see all of you there. There will be information in the show notes on connecting to us. Okay, now my favorite way of finding dif different distributions for maybe beginners, uh, old hardware, that sort of thing, is by using the power of the internet. And I actually have this page bookmarked on my homepage right here, and this of course is DistroWatch. Now DistroWatch is a comprehensive uh, website that covers all the major Linux distributions that are out there today, and there are literally thousands of them to choose from. Of course, you can always pick a distribution from the top 10 list, but not all of these are geared for legacy hardware, and some of them are may not necessarily be beginner friendly. So, the best way to find the distribution that you would like to use, especially if you've never ever used Linux before, you can use the search function by clicking right here. Okay, and then on this page, you can search di for distribution by criteria. It's a very simple form to use, and basically you just type in what it is you're after. If you're looking to run Linux, there it is. Okay, and you select your distribution category. Let's say you're a complete beginner, you have no idea of what it is uh, that, you're, that you want to run, then you would select this one. You can also select the country it comes from. I just select all because most Linux distributions will run in English, although there have been some that I've run into that just, you know, they, they kind of put the kibosh on English, but hey, that's up to the developers. Okay, you can define on what it's based on. If you don't know uh, and you've never used Linux before, just select all and uh, just leave everything else as is in the status here. You'll definitely want to select active and then of course press submit query. Okay, now in our results here, you will see that there are a number of distributions uh, that are tailored for beginners. You have REOS, I've actually done a review on that. You have a CCUX, Elementary OS, another really great operating system, Fusion Linux, Greeny Linux, Jolie OS, Linux Mint, Mephis, Netrunner OS 4, PC Linux OS, Pinguy OS, Sabion Linux. Wow, Gen 2? In the easy list? Cool. Super X, uh, Tutu Linux, Uber Student, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Desktop Pack, and of course each of these has a description that tells you about the operating system itself. And when you click on one of the links, it actually gives you a screenshot along with the description and then of course a link to the website where you can find more information about the uh, distribution and of course you can also make use of YouTube maybe there's your you have your eye on this little distribution you can search YouTube there's a lot of people like myself that are always putting up reviews on these different distributions that will help you decide if this one is right for you Maybe you're looking for a distribution for old or legacy hardware. Well, you can also search for that here as well under you choose the OS type, which of course we're using Linux, and then we can select something for old computers. All right, and it doesn't, you know, really matter which uh, one it's based on, but let's say we want something that's based on Debian. And then we'll go ahead and submit our query. And as you can see here, there is uh, a few distributions that are available for legacy hardware, such as Antix, uh, Galpon, Lubuntu, Swift Linux, and Watt OS. So this is a powerful search tool. It will help you at least 
find out about some of these distributions that are available out there. You can visit the developers websites and you can also search these distributions on YouTube for video reviews. And that's my end of this part. But like I said, tomorrow night we will be having a discussion on the Zoo Crew on how other people have used other tactics that people have used, you know, and, you know, I know that by having a YouTube channel, I eventually stopped my distro hopping when everybody suggested that I try Arch, but I was using Pinguy OS and a number of Ubuntu-based distributions prior to using that. Well, I hope you all found this useful. Thanks. Mm -hmm.